powered by Virginia. Radio. What up, yo? Roundtable Podcast. We here at 9 o'clock. A little bit earlier than 9 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? But we got a good show tonight, you know what I'm saying? We got KD the Queen here, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about what she got going on and a lot of other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Wow, he's here, you know what I mean? We about to get into it. But first, before I get into all of that, you know, I got to talk to you about the Pusha T concert that I went to Friday. Talk to us, So, man. look, right. <laughs> look, right. No, like, so I'd never been to a Pusha T show before. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, okay, let me go see what's good. His show was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he does a good show. He was by himself. Like it wasn't T. like a bunch of niggas on the stage. He was out there by himself. You know what I'm saying? And he's, like, he got a lot of hits. He got a lot of solo yes. hits, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. You know what I mean? He did the, um, damn, what's the name of the album? It's Dry. Like, did he, he do did... that song, Trust You? Yeah. Oh, my God, I love that song. Well, yeah, I like, he was doing... Me my drugs. Like, he, he, my... Yeah, yeah, he did that song. <laughs> that shit was fire, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like his set was fire. Like, he had a good show. Now, Friday was, like, the second night, because he had the, it was originally just a Thursday show at the Norva. You know what I'm saying? But then, like, that shit sold out, and it was dope. So they was like, oh, Friday, John, too. So I was like, okay, bet. I'll get my ticket. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, it's no rush to get my ticket because the North is all standing room. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm in there. So we, we, I was in there, and I went dole because, like, I couldn't, nobody wanted to go. So I was like, damn. Dang. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm fucking, I'm going to go. Yo, I'm about to start getting my flyers right so people can, y'all can invite me. I want to go everywhere. I need to be passing out flyers all day, all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was there. That shit was dope. I'm glad I went. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, he puts on a good show. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of hits. Like, some of that, it was a lot of stuff, like, I think I kind of knew the song. Like, I heard it on the radio station or something, like, passing through. But I was like, damn, I do remember that song, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't really do... He did, like, one verse from, like, a clip song. Like, all that, all the stuff he did was, like, basically all, like, his solo shit. And he did, like, one of his features. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, like, this is, this is good. Plus, I want to say the kid, IDK, who came on before him, who opened up for him, was dope, too. And he was the only opener, so his set was like forty five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like he wow. was going through songs, you know. And like That's crazy. I only heard like one of his songs, and I heard it on, I want to say Shade Four Five or something like that. I heard the song, and then I, but I kept remember like I know this name, I know this name. See, I play video games, right? So like I play the baseball game, the MLB game, mm -hmm. and as I was playing the MLB game. I heard his voice and I was like, okay, this is where I know this nigga from. You know what I'm saying? He got a song on the baseball game that plays all the time while I'm playing the game. Oh, okay. So That's crazy. I so I was like, damn, I knew I knew him when he came out, but I couldn't figure it out because I never actually seen him. I just heard the song on the game all the time when I played the game. So his set was good. I didn't get a chance to get over there and get a uh a shirt from his merch booth because like niggas was crowded over there. You know what I'm saying? And so I was at the Pusha T booth. And that's why I got the that's hoodie. That's dope. At. You know what I'm saying? I got the hoodie from there. But these niggas with the merch is charging outrageous prices, y'all. How much was the hoodie? Listen, <laughs> so look, so look, I'm going to tell you like this. I went to the Wu Tang John, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got the Nas hoodie. The Nas hoodie was like 85 This hoodie was more than that. That's all you, you know gonna say. Like <laughs> this hoodie was more than that, yo. And like, That's I didn't want to buy it, but like after I saw, so I I walked past the merch booth when I came in, you know, just walked around, chilled, got me something to eat real quick, everything, and I was like, well, if the show's dope, I'm gonna get me some. I get a piece of merch. Yeah, you know it's a saying? memory. Yeah, so I watched the show. I was like, damn. And I got to get some. Because right? I said so like, was dope. You know what I'm saying? Now I got to get some. So if I go get some, I got to get something big, yo. This is like the most expensive thing there. So I was like, Ugh, like, wow. Yeah, let me get it. It was 100 bucks. You know I love saying? your uh, so, eagerness to support. That's beautiful. 
Yeah, no, I listen, I support. I be at a lot of these events that be around here. You know what I'm saying? Even like when my, when like True Cool is not performing and nobody's performing, like I still be at these events. I just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I be chilling. I be out in the back, wherever nigga you smoke at. Right. <laughs> and I, I be there. You know what I'm saying? Like I be there. Jerk Saws, West Beach, wherever it's at. You know what I'm saying? If it's somewhere in the Seven Seas, like I be there. House of Bertha. You know what I'm saying? Like I be in these places. I just be chilling and I be low key. You know what I'm saying? Because I just like to watch. That's what I like up. to watch the performance. You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of be low key out the way, just chill and just watch what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, and I like that. I like doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, and then that's how I find a lot of guests too. I'd be like, okay, I liked you. You were dope. Like, let's talk. We'll set something up for you to come on the show. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, networking. Yeah, because that's really why I do the show. You know what I'm saying? So, and I've been doing this. The Wu Tang, the Wu Tang concert was on a Wednesday. So, that was the first time I haven't done a show. In like 18 months. Wow. Like I've been here every... You've been on the consistency. Every Wednesday. I can't say the same. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was in and out. Yeah. But hey. But every Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Except for that Wu-Tang show because I wasn't missing that. So I just got right? to take Zai. Like I wasn't missing that. Yeah. So like every every Wednesday up until then, I came here and did a show. You know what I'm saying? So... It was, I, you know, I put in a lot of work here so that I can go to these places and see and get people to come back, be on the show, right? whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? So. I love it. Yeah, yo. I like, like what I, you're doing. I, I, I be there, man. Yeah. I be there. I just be chilling. If you see me, come talk to me, yo, because like I be, you know what I'm saying? It's other shit I'm going to start doing, you know what I'm saying? Outside of this, like doing interviews and stuff in places, because sometimes I be in a lot of different studios. You know what I mean? Sometimes with people. So I'm going to start interviewing them and doing stuff like that. Exactly. And, and, and putting that stuff up. And send them my you know way because music is life. You already know the vibes. We can we can collaborate. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a, this gonna be a beginning of something great. We're going to really start collaborating more. Yeah. Because I did not know that you you got artists for days. Like, like you I got be, music I for be, days. I, like I said, like, I be chilling, yo. Like, I'm just trying to build what I have, the round table productions, trying to build it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's been a lot like the last, like, cause before it was something else. And then I switched it up and it became, you know, this round table thing, mm -hmm. which, you know, really started from just being at my man's crib. Shout out my man, Nuke at my man's crib. He had a big round table in his kitchen and we used to sit there and we would talk and we would do this stuff and pre-production music and do all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sitting there. And um, once he got rid of the, once he moved out of that crib, like, you know, I was like, Yo, I should do a podcast roundtable joint and just keep it like that. I started making the shirts and the grinders and the trays and the ashtrays, you know what I'm saying? The hoodies, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about to bring that stuff back out too. Like I've been, yes. I've been chilling for a minute, but I'm about to get everything together, get some more of them tray sets out here, more hoodies, more t-shirts. Like I just... I got all the stuff to do it. I just ain't done it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of other stuff been going on and I've been trying to do this other stuff. So, but I it's coming, yo. It. It's, it's it's coming, yo. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole bunch of hoodies and t-shirts just at the crib. They just need to get the stuff put on them and bring them out. You know what I'm saying? Because my guy Jesse is doing his movie thing right now. You know what I'm saying? Up in Maryland working on these uh, movies and TV shows so he can't do them right now. And that's really why I haven't put any out because I was waiting for him to get some time where he didn't have to do none of that and he was going to be back here and then I could take him to him and he could do them. But when the last time he came here, he was only here for like a day and he had to go back. Mm. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start bringing him up here let him get done. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I'm going to get all the way back into it and the music is going to start coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like True Cool's music is out. You know, definitely check that out everywhere. Um, about to start putting some amazing music out. And I put out Slow Bird, which is a song with me and my man Jimmy the Grunt, who was up here a couple weeks ago. He was up here for the Freestyle Friday joint, for the Friday Night Bars, and the, um, what was that? Um, not my podcast, um, 
the uh, the other podcast, the, the Battle Rap Kings. He oh, was on the Battle Rap Kings that night after he was on my podcast, like that Wednesday. So like I had him through here because he lives in Cali now. He don't live here. So he stayed out in Cali. So he was out here. I was like, yo, let's do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so we had did that song prior and I just like put that out recently. So like that's So out it's there. like everywhere. Yeah, it's out you there. You got track out everywhere. Yeah. That's what you're telling me right Slow now. Slow burn, you know what I'm saying? How I find it? Let me see. Hold on. Cause you got you don't know who I am. Yeah. I need to look it up. Just go to Spotify. What am I going to? Okay, I got Spotify up here. Yeah, Spotify, I got Spotify. I send everybody to Spotify. So what's your you know what like? Saying? What's you your artist in, name? Well, you just put in no. See, you just put in Roundtable Productions because that's what it's under. Oh. And you know what I'm saying? You see it in there. Slow burn. There you go, right there. Okay, yeah, I had to make sure I can find it. Let me follow. <laughs> okay. You know, so I got a lot of stuff going on. We about to start shooting. We about to shoot a video for True Cool's next single, Stamp. Um, I'm getting with the director now. He's another friend of mine that we did some movie stuff with before, and he shot their high feeling video with him and Amazing when we was in Philly. And so he's gonna come down from Maryland. He lives in Maryland, so he's gonna come down here and do a stamp video. We gonna try to go to each city. So look, so like he's putting out a thing for like all the all the seven cities, like you know, certain artists or whatever like that to come out when he's in that city because there's a portion of the song where he shouts out every city so we can go to every city get the artist you know what I'm saying be in that scene when he shout that city out you know what I mean and make it like that so it's gonna be real dope so just like if you get something in your inbox about it just know like that's what it is you know what I'm saying right. that's, what, that's, that's what it is so it's a lot going on I'm about to kick it back up because I've really been chilling for a while you know what I'm saying? We worked so hard on True Cool's album. The songs were amazing, you know, and then a lot of other stuff going on. Um, I think a lot of stuff would have been done sooner, but when I first was really getting ready to get into it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had got, I got shot, you know what I'm saying? So wow. that slowed everything down a little bit, but then it let me reorganize things and get things to the way they are now, you know what I'm saying? So... Now I'm here and I'm just trying to make it all, try to make it all happen. You know what I'm saying? You doing it. Way. So, you know, I got to connect with people like you. I got to connect with, you know, right. Amazing introduced me to Loud. The only reason I know Amazing is because she knew Jesse and Jesse was my guy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how, you know what I'm saying? That's how I end up here. You know what I'm saying? Through Amazing. You know, I came, I did her show for a few months, like a, like a month or so. I came up here and guest hosted her show with her for like a month. And then I started my joint, and I've been here ever since. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, man. But enough of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, enough of that. We're not here to talk about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're here to talk to KD, the queen. She got a lot going on. So, you know, introduce yourself to my peoples. What's up, everybody? I am KD, D-A-Q-U-E-E-N, on all platforms. Y'all make sure y'all check me out, you know underground artist but also i'm a promoter i'm a host i'm a host right here on power by virginia radio music is life on thursdays make sure you tap into that and yeah that's just me in a nutshell i mean you know i do a little bit of everything you really got to just tune into me and tap in on my page so you can see everything that i do and see how we can collaborate and you know because i'm pretty sure if it's got something to do with music we can work yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I feel that because that's how I be like. I be like, you know, if somebody want to come talk to me and it's about some music or something, like I could really rock with that. You know what I'm saying? I just don't come talk to me about a bunch of bullshit. Like I don't care about right. that. You know what I'm saying? Like I care about the music or if you're trying to do something, you need some help with some, you know, some, some clothing or something like that. Like, you know, I might be able to point you in a direction where you can get some good hoodies or T-shirts or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But... Just come with me with something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't just come to me with nothing, you know what I mean? And try to they just get be like, me, hi. Like, like, try to get me. Hi. Like, try to get me <laughs> to come up with the idea for you, you know what I'm saying? I was like, that. Like I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do yeah. that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I feel you on that, you know what I'm saying? You can try to do a little bit of everything, but, like, the one thing where I 
always am, you know what I'm saying? Like, I started all the round table production stuff because I was managing, you know what I'm saying? I was just, at the time, I was just managing Drea in Baltimore, you know? And then I started fucking with True Cool, you know what I'm saying? And then I was fucking with Amazing. So, like, I had, like, three artists, you know what I'm saying? And I was doing, like, everything, like, myself, like, anything... The studio, keep it true, cool in the studio. Dre had her own studio, so she could do her thing up there. Like, I just go up there and check on her, make sure everything's good. If we had a show in New York or something like that, like, I was doing that. You know, so I put a lot, listen, I did a lot of driving. Like, <laughs> Jesse, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing with the movies and stuff like that, but that's because he was coming, you know, he was working on the movies when I was working with Oasis, and we was doing that going back and forth. And then still going to Baltimore to get Drea and go to. So in you know the midst of that work, he like found doing, a connect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. In the midst of that, he found a connect, and so he's really been dealing with that, doing that a lot. You know what I'm saying. And then him and Drea is working on some type of sitcom joint, like on the side. They doing that. You know what I'm saying. So it's just you know what I'm saying. Like it's a lot going on. And like I said, when I said I was doing everything by myself, like I was doing everything by myself. Like I everywhere we go, I drive. You know what I'm saying? So I drive all the way to New York. I drive all through New York. You know what I'm saying? I drive all the way back here. And then I go somewhere else and I do what I was doing, everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so, you know, I put in a lot. And we lost a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, I, I put in a lot. I lost a lot. Like, I'm heavy in it. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, yo, like, he's going to hit me up. Plus, listen, I got a lot of beats. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like I got, I got, I got a lot of beats. Like I spent a lot of time, you know, with different producers and stuff, buying beats, doing beats, getting the licenses for stuff, and doing stuff. So I got a lot of beats. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, you know what I'm saying. And like if you, I can come to your studio, or I, you know, I set something up with Cosmet or something like that. We go there, we do whatever. But so you engineer? Nah, like see, I don't. That's not what I do. Like, I don't really touch the boards. I don't just, do none of that stuff. Like, I got the beats. I know the people. Like, okay. you come to me. You want to work with one of my artists or you need to, a studio to okay. record at. Like, I know where to where to go. Like, I'm really, like, at the base of it is all manager stuff. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to call yourself a manager. You sound like you like. Yeah, like, it's like, because <laughs> I do a little bit of everything, but that's, like, my base thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, through all of that, like, when it boils down to it, like, I'm giving niggas advice like a manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you're not working with me directly, like, I can still, you know what I'm saying? Right. Let you know a few things and put you with some people that you might not know, that I know. Like, you know, these are my people. I see them every day. I don't really think nothing about it. But somebody else who doesn't know them might be looking for somebody that does a certain sound or does whatever like that. Like, yeah, yeah you know what I'm sure. saying? Go to this guy. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Freakazoid, too, like. You know, he, he's got a lot of beats. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. So shout out to him out there in the beach. Cosman in Chesapeake. Um, who else? Is somebody else that I'm missing. But I can't, I can't think of them right now. But they know who they are. You know what I'm saying? It's only like a few people studio-wise that I really mess with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... People might not see me out all the time, but if you catch me out, be like, yo, I need to do some studio shit. Like, I could get send you to one of the three. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? You plugged so, in. Yeah, but like in a different, like in a different way because I'm a little bit older than everybody else. So like a lot of my people are older. Plugged, plugged in. You know what I'm saying? Like, like double plugged in. Yeah, like a lot of my people are like older than like I said. Plugged Kai, in with the OGs. Like Cosmo is, is like with DMP and Knots and all those guys like that. So, you know what I'm saying? So like, I be around those guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't really be around a lot of the younger guys. So when I go out to these shows and I see the younger guys, that's how I get them. Like, yo, I see you, you dope, come on my show and talk about whatever, you know what I'm saying, you want to talk about. You know, so... I love it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be a lot of work, I'd be tired. Like, I come off the, the road and go to bed and get up and I have to do something else, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a wife, I got a dog, I got... You know what I'm saying? Like, our son, good. He's older and he's moved on. He got his own kids. So, like, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. So, you know, I put all my time into this. 
You know what I'm saying? Doing this and doing it, you know what I'm saying, for real, where I feel like I kind of got it the way I want it now. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it takes so, us that time. I had to yeah. do the same thing. It took time to you get where you want it to be. But it's yeah. like we finally, like, then, we over know. a year Like in, you were saying, had... like you was like 30 when you finally figured it out. Like I was probably like... 37 when I was like okay like this is really what I'm gonna start doing right you know what I'm saying I did a lot of things you know I was in the army before like I you know what I'm saying I used to live in Maryland I did a lot of things like you know what I'm saying I did a whole lot of things before but you know a lot of that was because you know at the time that small child was just getting married like I needed to do things to get you know bread or whatever like that but now everything is like okay this is really what i need to do so the last five or six years minus like the covid shit and all that shit like this is really what i've been doing you know what i'm saying but i was doing a lot out of state and wasn't doing a lot around here because i didn't have anybody around here yet as far as like artists you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying so now that i got like a couple around here i start getting into it more here you know what i'm saying and get seeing the whole scene again because the last time i was really in the scene it was like the 90s you know what I'm saying? It was different. It wasn't yes, that much of a scene. definitely different. It wasn't that it long wasn't, ago. but it, 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 it wasn't that much of a scene like that like it is now. Like, there was no Powered by Virginia stuff or any of these podcasts that's out here, people doing this stuff. Well, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And there were very few places that was letting you put on these type of events and stuff like that. So, you know, I've seen it from both sides. I've seen it from back then, and I see it now. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just here, yo. You know what I'm saying? And I'm old. I'm older than loud. You know what I'm saying? Way more than loud. <laughs> yeah. I'm old. Loud said day. <laughs> I didn't say you was old. I just said I'm older than you. You know what I'm saying? Like Loud said don't even involve me. <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm saying like I'm older than loud. So not by a lot though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like two years or so. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, man, I see, I see, I see what you're saying, man, because, like, I've seen it on all sides, you know what I'm saying, I've been a part of rap groups and all types of stuff, and, like, eh, you know what I'm saying, like, I've always kind of, like, rapped a little bit, but never, like, for real, for real, but if a song came along and they was like, yo, get on it, I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying, but I never really, like, wanted to be, like, a rapper, rapper. But you're right. around it a lot, so you know. You're but like, you have you that love. Try it, you know what I'm saying? Right, you have that love for music, and you have the talent. Yeah. So it's like, why not? Like, yeah, you know, what I'm you gotta saying? have so, a song or two at least. Yeah, so I probably got about like seven. They're not all all of them ain't all the way done yet, but they'll be done. I probably got some features. I'm gonna put a lot of features on my shit. Okay, so, you about to be on my show. <laughs> Yeah. When you coming on mine? Whenever, That's man. what we gonna talk about. After Whenever, it. man. You guys, let me know, man. Listen, I'll be around, yo. I'll, I'll be around, yo. You know what I'm saying? But I stay kind of like low key. You know what I mean? So. Right. I'll be around, man. Let underground. Ain't nothing this. wrong with that. You you live the underground life. That's what we do. The greatest people and the the musical geniuses is sitting in the background. They don't even come on the stage sometimes. That's a fact, yo. That's a fact, oh, yo. Because I don't be at the stage. And then I be at a lot of these shows for, like, the the major artists, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes niggas can catch me at some of them shows if you go to those shows. and You know what I'm saying? Holler at me. You want to come on my show? You got something you want to talk about? You got a program that you're doing? Whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing something positive and you're doing whatever, like, holler at me, yo. And come get on the show and talk about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because... That's what that's what it's here for, and that's what I'm here for. And all you gotta do is inbox me, yo. You know what I'm saying? Inbox me, I respond. As long as it ain't on no bullshit, like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm good. You know, like I I do whatever, yo. Like, I'm always around. Like I'm really about to get in to start trying to like host some events and stuff and do some other stuff. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta get you. I got like something like that. Like I gotta slowly step into you know what I'm saying cause I'm not really with all the you know what I'm saying like host the events stuff like that but I think if I do like a couple just to help like promote my show and stuff like that right and do stuff like that like that'll work but that's not coming no time soon you know that's probably well even if you head up the events and let your artists yeah do you know some, some hosting and stuff like that and yeah, I, like we gonna we gonna get it we gonna get it popping. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna talk and I'm gonna come on your show yeah, too. We gonna definitely you know what I'm saying? 
So again, we was talking too much about me, and that's not what we <laughs> what we here. It's not what we here for. It's okay. Actually, you know we're talking saying? about music. So yeah, we talking all, about music. It's so. all with me. It's all with me. That's all me. You know what I'm saying? So I know you was on T Spill show earlier. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was sitting in here watching. So I like I, I feel like I learned a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like what age was you when you was like, I wanna be like a rapper? Because I heard the songs and we're gonna hear two other songs tonight. Yeah. From you. You know what I'm saying? So like when did that start? Well, um, I would say you kind of were sp- you were specific by saying rapper, because like I've always been a writer, mm-hmm. always been a writer since I was old enough to write. Matter of fact, before I was old enough to write, I was a writer because I was writing stuff in my head. But I would say I was about twenty two when I learned that I wanted to be a rapper because I decided that I wanted to take like my poetic justice and my and my singing and all of that and it just rap was just what I wanted to focus on you know what I'm saying I always rapped I used to <laughs> we used to be like like the 80s back yeah. at recess man y'all don't even know kids now don't even know what recess is What's yeah recess? like they don't even have recess what is recess? like no I think recess now like stops at like third grade you know like yeah they, they don't even you know what I'm saying? It's and then just they over. used to call it when I was in high school. They were calling it break. And when we went on break, we would always be outside, like you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm freestyling, y'all. I'm coming off the top of the dome. People who know me and went to school with me already know. So I was rapping already. Yeah. That didn't just start, but it just was like <coughs> after my sister passed away, and when I and I got like like a week after my sister passed, I got pregnant with my first child. My sister told me before she died that I was gonna have, I was gonna have a child. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, I'm talking about divine. Like she even told me who the child was gonna be for. I wasn't even dating guys before this guy, and she told me I'm hooking you up with this dude, and you gonna have a baby for this dude. Huh? And then she she passed on me, and after she passed, man, we really had a baby. <laughs> Shout out to him. We really made a baby. <laughs> and he takes good, he helps me take good care of the baby. So I had to shout him out. You know what I'm saying? But um, when around that time was when it really hit me. When I had my first child and I lost my sister. It's when it really, really hit me. I was 22 years old. And I was like, man, rapping is music is is life. And, and yeah, and, and it, it was gonna it was gonna not only heal me, but I saw how it was corrupt in the world. And when I see how music corrupts things, it makes me want to go put a Band-Aid on it so bad, y'all. I'm telling you. I just want to fix it. I yeah, just want to you know, fix it. There's, there's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of corruptive music out yeah. there. Yeah. So, and I just, I feel like, I feel like it's nothing for me to put out some positive energy while they putting out all of this negative energy. Hey, we need to keep putting out positive energy. We shouldn't be like, oh, no, it's negative energy. We're just going to grab it and just love on it because we just don't got no other choice. No, you don't have to accept that. <laughs> yeah. You can go and listen to something else. You can do something else. You can be someone else. You don't have to be the same as what you hear. And then some people, you like that. If you like that, then that's what you like, and that's what you can be. But if you don't like that, then don't lie to yourself. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, real quick, though, like, I want to shout this out because I just seen it. Yo, recipes are cool, yo, yo. Like, he just, like, died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that I shit is crazy. Like that it just, just happened. It just happened, yo. Like, like 30, 40 minutes ago. Coolio, y'all. Oh you know my what I'm goodness. Saying? So, recipes are cool, yo, yo. Gangster Paradise is still King. one of those songs, yo. You know what I'm saying? Gangster Paradise is definitely one of those songs. So, definitely recipes to him. He just died, like, about. Coolio, yeah. Oh, he passed again. Yeah. Oh, that. It just happened. Life is crazy. Like, it just happened, yo. Like, I got an alert on my phone from TMZ. Wow. Yeah. And it's so crazy, like... 9-28, A lot of people don't know who he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, young young people, a lot of people, 
A lot of y'all, hey, give me the hearts if y'all know who Coolio is, y'all. Try you know what I'm saying? Just put them hearts. Drop them hearts one time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. You know what I mean? Hey, I remember when he was in Ke- in the beginning. He did Keenan and Kel's intro to their song, to their um show that they used to do. When I was a kid, I used to watch Keenan and Kel. Oh, and he was in the intro rapping. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, he in the intro in the, in the beginning. They like they in the video. He on the top of the car. You know what I'm saying? Hair all over the place. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Epic stuff, man. Memories. Dang. Yeah, that's crazy, yo. Cool. Oh, yo. Well, let's take the rest of the shot for cool. I took my cool. whole shot. Oh, you snap. got you got a half a shot. Hold on, let me still get half a shot because you fucking around on. Half he don't a got shot. nothing to take with me, y'all. I well, had to. Take a half I had to sip, sip, sip. That should hit her too hard. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take this one whole back, all the way back though, for the Trust. homies. Coolio, yo. For Coolio. <laughs> Woo. My reaction is bad, right? I'm sorry. I tried to cover it up because we live. Usually, y'all, my face be real ugly. <laughs> nah, like, we chilling, yo. So, okay, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to cool, yo. I just, I saw that real quick and I was like, damn. He's a musical legend. Yeah, yeah, it's it's legend, definitely though. appropriate, you guys. It's definitely appropriate. It's, it's okay. Definitely if you was in the 90s, yo, you remember Gangsta's Paradise show. Like that song, and even the movie, which for some reason wasn't that good, but like it's still, you know what I'm saying? Like it's still watchable. It's a weird movie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's still, <laughs> it's still watchable, you know? It'd be so, the weird shit sometimes. Yeah, so it's definitely rest in peace, Coolio, on that, yo. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it said he was 59. I didn't know he was that old. But I think about it, he had to be like 25 or 26 when he made the song. You never realize how old people are. And then especially because... Oh, when it's black people, yo, because they stay looking the same look way the for a long same. time. They look the same. Black don't crack. Shout out to black excellence. <laughs> Trust, because they look the same for a long time. Yes. Yo. And you, when you, when, if you get an opportunity to look the same for a long time, yo, like you got to milk that, yo, because it's just going <laughs> right. to shrink. And shrink, like milk it, get all the money you can. That's why I don't get mad at, like, you know what I'm saying athletes, actors, and stuff like that. They just like, oh, they paid them all this money. Duh, get that bread, yo. Why you look like that? Get all that bread. Because when you stop, they're going to stop paying. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. get all that bread, yo. Whatever it is. I don't give a fuck. They want, to, want you to put your face on the... I don't give a fuck what it is, yo. Like, they going to pay you six, seven million dollars a year to do that? Get that bread, yo. Yeah. All of it, yo. Because they ain't going to come around again. You know what I'm saying? Like, once your run is done, your run is done. Well, yeah, so I'm thinking that's what's going to save me. Because they say I look like I'm, like, 12 or 13 now. So, Wes. Yeah, like, you look, you look get, young. Yeah, like, I got, I got a while to that's get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's why so many time. people, even so, even, like, some of the people that are, that are, that are coming out now that we're seeing starting to come out. Like, some of these people are already, like, mid-30s, late-30s, and they just getting their chance. But because they still. The screen is what? Yeah. Sorry on the live, y'all. Give us a second. <laughs> we coming back. Stay tuned. Yeah, we blacked out. Oh, shit. All right, we are back. A little technical difficulty was black, but we're back up and running. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're back <laughs> up there. So, so, wait, what were we talking about? I don't even remember now. But <laughs> Me neither, nah, but tequila. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely, you know, just talking about Coolio and, you know, 59 years old, yo. Yes, his age. That's what we was talking about. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. 59 um, years old. Look but you good. be surprised because you got, because even like, you know what I'm saying, like some of these people, even like, you know what I'm saying, like LL. First of all, LL is my guy. So before we even start with LL talk, LL is my guy. Love him. He's always in my top five, yo. Like, nigga is just that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But even him, like, he's like 53. 
You know what I'm saying? Hove yeah. like 53. Man. Like, these are niggas that I grew up listening to when I was 16. You know what I'm saying? 15, 14 years old. Like, I was listening to these niggas. These niggas are still around. You know what I'm saying? So I always be like, damn, if I could just get like five years of what they got, like, I'd be okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just need like a good <laughs> five or six year run with all my artists, with everything that I'm doing, like a good five or six year run, and then I get out of the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I'm gonna make all the money I need to make in those five or six years, and I'm gonna get out the way, and I just do this full time. Like, I don't do nothing else but podcasts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause I be done built it up enough where everybody can do everything on their own. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, and get it on different everybody stations. Everybody doing their own, get on different stations, the streaming, the songs will continue to stream more and more and more. I can just sit back on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. That's all I'm trying to do. I just need a good five year spot where everything is just going. And once I can do that, I'm good. It's you happening, man. Saying? I am adding every artist that you have because I am still like, what? <laughs> West got artists? Like, he was like, that's one of my artists. I'm like, what? I'm like, I, I didn't even know. And you so quiet with it that I actually remember the artist's name when you say Drea. Mm-hmm. I remember her name, but I'm like, I don't remember you having nothing to do with her. I'm trying to figure was, out what was the connection. And but I was there. He behind you know the saying? scenes the whole time. I was there in the VIP. Like I had all my people. We was in the little VIP section in the back of that joint, and we was there watching the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just chill, yo. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? Like I just chill. And I let the artist be the artist. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not trying to be on stage. I'm not trying to do none of that stuff. Just trying to let them do what they do, watch what they do, and watch the people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I like to sit back and watch the people when my people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? That's all I care about. You know what I mean? The only reason I put the song, the song out that I have is because it was a song with me and my homeboy. We've been homeboys since I first moved to Virginia, so I was like 15. You know what I'm saying? And I, me and him, been tight through all that that's why when he came here he did my show he did the battle rap kings he did um the friday night bars and that's he came, the one you did slow burn with yeah he came, i gotta hear that he came to do um he came with me to two events one at the jerk sauce one at the um west beach you know what i'm saying and i just you know like look this is what i'm doing you know what i'm saying so he's like bet you know, because he rapping stuff and he with some people, you know, shout out certain ones in G-Double out in Sacramento. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. So, uh, like, I just want to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I know this your show. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, nah. You ask me <laughs> questions. Sometimes people ask me questions, too. Yo, but, like, so, um, with your artist, wait, what was I going to say? He can't know. be giving me tequila. <laughs> um... <laughs> We um dang what was I gonna say Wes I don't know what you was gonna I want, say I got a question about I got a question about you um I just know I want us to collaborate I want to yeah, know all listen. of these freaking artists man I wanna I want us to collaborate listen, ASAP yo, I'm putting so I'm putting um Dre's album we putting it back up you know what I'm saying we had took everything down for a while we had to get some stuff straight so we putting her her last album back up. You know what I'm saying? On all the streaming sites. I got them. I got to load them up. Um, there's like probably like three or four songs that are on there. But I'm going to go load them up, load the rest of them up, load the whole album up. You know what I'm saying? So definitely go back to check that out. Like I said, True Cool's album, The Slow Burn. And probably in like maybe like a month or so, I'm going to put out like three amazing songs. Okay, so this is what I you know was going to ask you. I just thought about it. Do you feel like, like, on the round table, like, you mostly talk about music? Is that, like, the only thing that we get? Because when I share you back, because I want to mm-hmm. start really, really, like, sharing you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I want, like, people like you, like, promoting and stuff like that. Like, you know, you got something going on. Like, holler at me. Like, yo, I want to talk about this. I want to promote this. You know what okay. I'm saying? Can I come on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it's here for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on, talk about the show you got coming up. Whatever you got going on. 
You know what I'm saying? You just want to drop in for five minutes and do something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, holler at me because, like, Wednesday nights, this time, like, this is my time. You know what I'm saying? So, I want people yeah. to, you know, do stuff like that, too. But for sure. your question, like, do yeah, I, I can't feel really, like... I can't really pop up like that, but my question is, like, like is, is the show always... Do you talk about just everything in general? Because, like, when I hashtag... What topics am I putting? Is it just underground like, music? It's kind of like artists, or you so. Talk like about I talk, I talk a little bit about everything. Like we, like here, we kind of, I kind of let the artists. You know, we kind of get the artists or the people who got something going on to do a lot of the talking right. and stuff like that. So the the conversation just kind of sways and goes the way that it is. So it could be talking about a lot of just led um, by the energy. Could be talking about a lot of stuff. Right. Could be talking about absolutely nothing. Just talking. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just talking about goofy shit and shit like that. Like, it was the one time we had the shit about the bananas or something. We was talking about bananas. What do you call, you know what I'm saying, the bananas when they're in the store or whatever like that. You know what I'm so saying? Say what now? What you call the bananas when they're in the store? So, most banana bushels only had like five bananas in them. Uh-huh. So, I don't know even how we got on that, but we was in here talking one day, so I looked it up, and it's like, when it's just five of them, it's called a hand of bananas because it's five of them and it's five fingers. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was weird. And that was the topic. Yeah, one of just, the things y'all was talking about, right? We just talked right. about that, like, you know what I'm saying, all night because it was just weird. You know what I'm saying? You start thinking <laughs> Not about... all night. Because you start thinking about the bananas when you go in the store. You're like, damn, it do be like five of them <laughs> drones. In the drone, yo, like I always just call them like a bushel, but it's not a bushel. Like it's a hand of bananas. A hand of bananas. Okay. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was one of the old shows, yo. That's uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that was listen, that was a long time ago too, yo. I've done a lot of shows, yo. Like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. is is a lot, but that's you know what I'm saying. That's really how the show goes. We talk about the stuff that we need to talk about, and in between that, we just flow you know what i'm saying take shots get high and just let the conversation go where it goes okay you know what i'm saying because the more because i realized and i watched a lot of different podcasts and see how they go like all the good ones and i noticed the ones that have like drinks and that let people smoke be the best ones because they let the they let the guests get kind of relaxed and loose and they want to talk you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, you know, I just let them talk. I ask the questions and I let them talk and they do what it is that they do. And in between that, we just talk about whatever pops up when they just can't remember what it is that right. they're talking about. You definitely about. get the truth from you know out what I'm of saying? them. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want people to tell the truth, but I want people to tell the truth within a certain thing. Like, don't... Oops. Like, don't be out here just saying whatever, but like, you know what I'm saying? Be true about it. Right. Oh, shit. I'm trying to That's right. You, the you know what I'm saying? So. I want you to hear some a, of my music. Yeah. So let's um. Let's get to the first song. What's the first song we got? You got um. No, you sent in two new ones. I, yeah, right? I sent in two different ones. She sent in two new Jones. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna get to get to one of the new Sorry songs. <laughs> We get to one of the new songs here. We don't know which one it's gonna be yet, but yeah. you know, shout out Katie the Queen being here. She on the round table, you know what I'm saying? She chilling. Round she had table production. She had a tequila. She had a tequila shot. I had one shot, y'all. <laughs> I feel it. Do you hear me in my chat? Yeah, in that's my just... chat. Out here trying to hang with Wes. I feel the tequila <laughs> all in my chest. <laughs> Listen, that's what we do up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Round Till Podcast is what it is, man. Like, yeah. I be chilling, yo. I like that. So I had tea spills first, and then I have Wes here, who is just, you know. And shout out to tea spills, too. She do a good job. Side. She do a good job with a show and all the stuff that she do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with her extra heavy. She been here about as long as I've been here. You know what I'm saying? Like, every Wednesday. I don't even think she's missed a Wednesday. Yes, she does her thing consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I said, if it were for the Wu-Tang joint, like, I don't have a perfect record, but I couldn't miss that. <laughs> I had to go to that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's an excused absence. Wu Tang, yo. Wu Tang, Nas, and Buster Rhymes, like the same concert. That's definitely an excuse absence. And it was outdoor at the Virginia Beach Jones. So, you know, these can blow it down. Like, <laughs> listen, 
It crazy, <laughs> it was crazy thing I was gonna miss that. Right. You know what I'm saying? If they would, if they would have told you you couldn't smoke, you might not would have made it. Nah, I still go to the concert. <laughs> oh man, you love I Wu still Tang. Go to the concert, yo. Shout Wu-Tang. out to Wu Tang. Shout out Wu Tang. Shout out to Nas for shout putting on a great Clay. show. Shout out for being there for for Nas, Ghostface, and Raekwon. Crazy. To do, you know what I'm saying? The songs that they did together. Oh my god, yo! Like they just had to be there, yo! Like I still got some videos I gotta post. Post you know them. What I'm I still got some videos I gotta post. Yes. I gotta charge up my other phone, but like I was, I had a bunch of videos, yo! Like shit was crazy. You know. He holding back on footage, y'all. I still got some. I think I still got some footage from the Pusha T joint. I know I posted like a bunch of them in like a cluster, but I think I still got a couple of other joints because I have my other phone. Yeah, since yeah, we smoking, yeah. on you play Confessions? Yeah. Song for the we're going to play Confessions, KD the Queen. Song for the smoke. On her song, yo, song for the smoking. So we're going to check it out real quick while we blow this good weed down. Yeah. Fact. This is my confession. This herbal life is my obsession. Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing. So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain and tragedy keep me sane. She's sweeter than sugar cane. This is my confession. This herbal life is my obsession. Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing. So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain and tragedy keep me sane. She's sweeter than sugar cane. We twist stuff for drama that presents too close. Problems get rolled up like a hundred cents stuck in your clothes. Who hosts the host a session with this G joint militia? It's these street poets using white clouds to lift you. Sprouting from the ground up, huh? You get the picture. If not, take out your phone, snap a picture. Let's take it to my man, Samson, gets me lifted. Wisdom imparted, it's furious style speaking. Don't get me started too late. I'm already on your case, speaking life to anybody with you. And anybody that asks me, we attack the track like rock slide. Locked in cages, hungry for y'all to play this. It's the smoker's anthem, KD, did we mention? It's not pseudoscience like a Zachariah Sitchin. I got a Jones for that loud mix, laugh and stress. We recognize we on our path to success. This is my confession, this herbal life is my obsession. Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing. So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain and tragedy keep me sane. She's sweeter than sugar cane. This is my confession, this herbal life is my obsession. Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing. So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain and tragedy keep me sane. She's sweeter than sugar cane. First it was me and Keisha at the bar golf trying to hang. But back then I couldn't figure the right way to hit the thing. Never touch the stuff again till I turn 21. But my life must have been boring cause this hippie world is fun. Cloud 109, that's all. I got different levels. Try to drown myself in sorrow. I just ended up a rebel. They say I got a problem. I'm a stoner. Ain't no harm. I wouldn't hurt a flower. That's a cousin to the tree. Try to stay sober. But that life just won't for me. I gotta twist up in the morning. Gotta twist up late at night. I gotta twist up, take a flight. This guy just got me feeling right. <laughs> this guy just got me feeling right. I don't even know what they call it, but it's got me feeling right. Yeah. Zaza, what y'all call it? Hey, y'all got all these names. What you call it? This is my confession, this herbal life is my obsession Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain And tragedy keep me sane, she's sweeter than sugar cane This is my confession, this herbal life is my obsession Gonna be hard convincing me that this treat is not a blessing So in love with Mary Jane and how she take away the pain And tragedy keep me sane, she's sweeter than sugar cane It's been a long day doing has anybody seen furious styles like y'all looking like y'all don't know who furious yeah. styles is yeah. willie yeah. with the papers the where he at come on come on Got the papers, come follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we 
back. Yo, okay, so like that's a good weed song, yo. Like I could really like play that and roll up. Yeah, just sit there and rock down, out. Like, yeah. Yeah. So like <laughs> Thank you. So like, you know, like so True Cool has a weed song, him and Amazing, called High Feel. Okay. That's 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 on his album. That's out now. It's a single. The video is out. Everything is out for that. You know what I'm saying? That song is dope. You know what I'm saying? We got the slow burn, which is basically about different strands of weed and you know how we doing the stuff with the weed or whatever like that. So that joint's out there. Like I'm trying, cause I'm trying to like put together <laughs> like around a, and put a mixtape yeah, together. Yeah, like I'm just trying to put down cause like a, that'll be crazy. Like a, like a personal joint, like a personal joint, like an eight nine track joint, yo, with just like there. smoking songs. You put know what I'm saying? Up there. Yo, you know what that'd saying? be crazy. So, Nobody's doing that. Don't steal our idea, y'all hush. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a whole joint was just about smoking, yo, you know what I'm saying? So that's something that I want to do. That's why we kind of did Slow Burn. Yes. I got another song that I want to do um, that's got to do with smoking, too. I ain't find, I ain't got I'll, I gotta look through all my beats, but once you I find the beat, you definitely will be the person to do that too. And then I mean, everybody who tunes into you already know that's what you do. So people who tune into you, most of the people are smokers anyway. So they're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the you know same kind saying? of people. I put that be... shit out. You know what I mean? Also, I'm gonna start promoting the slow burn joint more. Like check it out, cause like I got some hoodies coming with the slow burn cover on them. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? T-shirts and all that. Along with the regular round table shirts, like all that shit is coming, yo. Like all that shit is coming. I'm just start. I'm just bringing the loud. I gotta figure out a price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want loud to overcharge me. But <laughs> I did. Hey yo, we be killing loud on the mic. We gotta stop it. No, nah, loud's my yo. guy, yo. Like he, he, no. he's my guy, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like I know I gotta bring a lot of shirts up here. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get like the best price. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You have to, Bro, I, you have gonna... to think about things before you bring them to loud, cause he didn't thought about it yeah. before he, you thought he about, about it. it. He already got a price, but you gotta yeah. bring. See what you gotta do is you gotta bring a lot of stuff. Like, if you bring, like, I bring my own shirts, I bring my own hoodies, I know the price can go down a little bit. Yeah, you know what you, I'm saying? Because he ain't, ain't got to do stuff. much, yeah. You make me work because I got to do all your shirts. So now check this out, right? Imagine if you just came to me, right, and you said I need 100 shirts. They going to come done, right? Yeah. You going to get them done, right? You going to get tags in them. You going to get them packaged up in bags. And you going to get them for low. Yeah. You, now, you so, want me to come in here and you want me to do tons of work. I gotta pay. I gotta charge you. Man, I come in here and press the shirts myself, nigga. You just <laughs> package them. You know what I'm saying? Like. See, so you still not going the easy way. You ain't paying attention. He's still taking the hard way out. Your shit is coming packaged with No, you could package them and put the tags on them. I'll press them. It's gonna be cheaper for you. But if I press them, they'd be even more cheaper for me. You just put the tags in bag. Them. I don't care about the work. Like, I got time. Like time is one thing that I have a lot of. Well, if I come here, I'm gonna have to use the um. I have to get the the print joint like you had on the on the thing and just press it down on there. So you get sheets. I had to get I had to get sheets. So, so, so I'm, I'm telling you the easiest way to do things. But you don't want to. No, I don't do. I just, I you know what I'm saying like I just, I just, I just, I just, I just don't want to pay a thousand dollars for some shirt show. Why not? That's how you make two thousand dollars. That's how you. Pay. But after buying this, you just bought a hundred dollar hoodie. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I got it. That's why. You want to spend a thousand dollars on some shirts, right? Yeah, because I gotta raise some prices. Yeah, you gotta raise some prices. 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 You gotta raise so I need to be charged at least sixty for my joint, y'all. Yeah, I mean you get whatever you put on the tag. You know what I'm saying? See, I was getting them done. See, I was getting them done for free. You know what I'm saying? I was getting them done for free, and then you know what I'm saying? I was only charging like twenty five, thirty dollars. I wasn't paying to get them done. You know what I'm saying? So if I gotta pay to get them done, I gotta raise my prices. But I need, you know what I'm saying? I need to know what you gonna charge. <laughs> I just need to know. I just need to know what you gonna charge. Nah, I want to do it the easiest way possible because I need them done quick. I'll show you my way too. You know what I'm saying? You can do them your way. Listen, you gonna send you money. Your shit gonna come once you get your shit. You gonna be able to move your shit. 
Look, I'm just gonna let you do it. I'm just bring you the shirts and I pay for the sheets. And I pay. <laughs> no, cause I got the shirts already. They just in a bag at the crib chilling. You know what I'm saying? I got blue shirts. I got black shirts. I got white shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a bag full of shirts that I ordered and they just chilling. You know what I'm saying? They just chilling. Only thing I got do gotta order is I gotta order some more hoodies because I have no more hoodies. No, I got a couple, but they like two X's. So I need like some mediums. Yeah, I need like some mediums and some larges, some extra larges and some shit like that. So in my next order, and the only way I can order them is I can only order them through Jesse. So I gotta call Jesse. I gotta get that. Listen, I need like 50 hoodies. You know what I'm saying? You only wanna do the hoodies like that. You if you ain't got the hoodies. I need the hoodies. No, but I need those. I need those hoodies that I go buy because here, then come over here and spend money. That's gonna cost you more money. No, nah, so because you just, like, because look, the hoodies that I get, you seen the hoodies that I get with the thumb holes and the extra pocket and everything and the double laces. Like, thumb holes. The hoodies got thumb holes. You get what's yeah, a thumb hole? A thumb hole, like right here, it's a hole. So like you can. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Why well, I never heard nobody call it a thumb hole? You know, because it's a thumb hole. I don't know it what else they would call hole. it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got that on both sides. I got an extra pocket in here that's deep. You could put like an eighth in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the pocket. You know what I mean? They got the two laces. They got the one lace. That's the color of the hoodie. And then they got a white lace. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a different type of hoodie. You know what I'm saying? So I got to order them from that spot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting them cheap because I'm using Jesse Discount because he ordered them joints from there. You know what I'm saying? So... I order like 20 or 30 of those in different sizes. You know what I'm saying? That I can bring them it's with the good shirts. material. Good and quality. I need to order, yeah, they're, they're way good material. You know, like the shirts too. Like I got to order them from that spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to get them from that spot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I would get them from there. I already got a bunch of shirts. I just need to get some more uh, extra large shirts because I kind of took all the extra large shirts. So I need to get just extra large shirts. And about 30 hoodies. But I'm going to bring you what I got first so you can just start working on the shirts. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them going to need round table logos on them. And then some of them going to need the slow burn cover joint on them. So I got to send that so that you can get a sheet on that. And we're going and we, and we to do that, yo. You know what I'm saying? So we're about to do it, yo. The, the trays and all that shit, that's going to take longer because I got to send them away. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta call that away. That's another, that's an out of state thing. This from a lady I met, I met through, I met on Facebook. She did my first set, you know what I'm saying? And them shits was dope. So like, I was like, look, I'm gonna come back to you when I need them again. You know what I'm saying? Cause you did a good work. So I'm get, it was trays. It was a whole set. It was trays, grinder, ashtray. You know what I'm saying? I had all three. You get them individually, but if you get them all three, you save like 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had that. I had shirts. I had hoodies. I had all that shit at one point. I was just moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now I got to keep it. Yeah. So now I got it. So now I got to keep it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm about to really start getting back into the merch joint because it was a good joint. You know what I'm saying? For having that joint. So... I'm gonna get back into that, y'all. Yeah, for sure. Cause I was done, but that was in the midst of me. The reason I had to stop that because it was in the midst of me doing everything else. You know what I'm saying? Working on a True Cool album, doing the stuff with Drea. You know, amazing sessions. I, amazing sessions was kind of like in there with True Cool sessions because she was there, so like she could get in there and record, to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? So. Shout out True Cool. Yeah, it yeah, was. Man. It was a lot of other stuff going on, so I got when I did that and I let them go to see how fast they would go. They went so fast, I was like, "Yo, like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't even have time to get more because now that money I made there, I gotta put to this. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's all right. It's gonna get back. Right, yeah, get like back. I'm gonna get back into it, yo. Yeah, some more designs for the clothes. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But it's all about to get back in there, man. Like like I said, I love this shit so. Whatever we gotta do, we gonna do it and get it back popping. But we definitely gonna collab on some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Musically. 
and some of these shows that you got going on and stuff like that, I definitely want to start getting my people in there. Yes. Let's you know do what I'm it. Saying? So we about to work. I'm gonna be hitting you up all the time when I got something going on. Yeah, just be in my inbox. All these yeah. guys hit me in my inbox, yo. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hit me in my inbox because I check those messages and I respond like as soon as I see it, like boom. I respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get into the song the real quick with KD. But real quick before we do all that, me. like tell them where they can find you. You know what I'm saying? Tell them everything, you know what I'm saying, with the look up. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all check me out on all platforms. Like I said, it's KD the Queen. You know, I'm on everything. I'm on I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Spotify, I'm on Shazam, I'm on Pandora, I'm on all of that stuff. Tittle, tittle what they call it, title, whatever they call it. <laughs> I'm on that joint too. I'm on stuff I can't even pronounce, you feel me? <laughs> so just look me up, you know, Google me, baby, K-D-D-A-Q-U-E-E-N, you know? And if you don't find me on all platforms, you'll find me on at least one, and that one will lead you to all of them, for real. And I promote underground artists, not just myself. So check out them underground stories. That's a fact. So we're going to get into this song. What's it called? Chase the Dream. Chase the Dream. Yeah. KD the Queen. Let's go. They might not hear them. Too many memories. 
genuine people are hard to find most of the world is partially blind they said i was lame they know they was lying i'm chasing this fame one day at a time just wrote this rhyme to clear my mind just wrote this rhyme to clear my mind yeah that's a dope song i ain't used two and that's the way it know. is yeah I used two poppy John. That John. That John. That's a dope song. You know what I'm saying. That was Katie the Queen. You know what I'm saying. She definitely got some. She got some music. She definitely got some good music. You know what I'm saying. I like your voice. You know what I'm saying. You go between the rapping and the, and the singing and those notes in between. Like I, I, I like that. Yo. You know what I'm saying. I probably might got something for you too. You know what I'm saying. So definitely appreciate you staying. Being on my show tonight, you know what I'm saying? You you probably learn more about me probably than most people when it comes to doing this stuff that I do. You know what I'm saying? So That's good. We got out yeah. what, you, what your show was you know about what I'm saying? tonight. Yeah, Y'all we got a lot of that. Now. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? You got a lot about what I do off the show, you know what I'm saying? My artists and stuff like that. So this is a good show, man. I appreciate you staying. You know what I'm saying? I hope you had a good time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I know that I know the tequila had you for a minute. Yeah, it still's got me <laughs> when I'm going home. I'm but safe. you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. Shout out to Lyle. You know what I'm saying? Doing the joint. And we out of here till next week, man. Peace. Peace. Powered by Virginia. Radio. Radio.